Okay, episode three, here we go. We're at the Champion's Dawn. Uh, we're actually about to go out into a place called the Cliffs of Dodjok to try and recruit some miners. Uh, this is kind of a big architect guild place that we're at at the moment. Uh, and there's this cool statue here that I was going to show you guys last episode, but I forgot about it. Uh, I think it's supposed to be inspired by Atlas of, you know, Greek mythology. I'm not sure, though. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're going to recruit these miners because, uh, as a Sunspear, we've now been tasked with doing some sort of research, or we're trying to retake a place called Farina, the first city. And this is kind of the start of the main uh, storyline. We've done the tutorial bit, and now we're actually starting the plot and seeing what's going on. So it all begins with Cormir. Um, telling the Sun Spears that we're going to try and excavate and look inside this city. But to do that, we need to find some miners, who we've been told we re we can recruit out here in the Cliffs of Dodjok. Uh, and to help us do that, we're going to find uh, like this guy who's supposedly a really good tactician, or he's just really really organised and really good. This man called Dun Coro. So yeah, we're going to look for him first. Oh, he's not too far away actually. He's just down there. So let's get our bounty. I was sent here to scout out the area and check on this scale issue. And I'm telling you, it's a real problem. These scale are everywhere. They're like locusts. Komir has given me a bounty to offer to anyone willing to lend a hand. Will you help? Hand it over. Alright, let's do it. So these are the, you'll, we'll find the scale around here. Uh, if you guys have been watching all my videos, uh, you won't have seen the scale for a long time. We haven't seen those since my first series, since Prophecies. There were no scale in factions, but there are lots of scale here in Alona. So here's Duncora. Here's this, this guy we've been told to meet. He's got these cool kind of tattoos on his face, actually. He says, you can't just run off without a plan. Let me help you. I've been with the Sun Spears for years. I plan our strategies and Cormir executes them. Let me do the same for you. Okay, sounds fair. Hello there, Matt. I've wanted to meet you since I heard about your success at Chabek Village. Cormir asked me to watch your back during your first few missions. I guess there's trouble at Dodgeot Quarry, eh? Blasted harpies. We'll have our work cut out for us on this one. We'll need a strategy. Can't just blunder around in there. Luckily, planning is what I do best. Now, let's go see what we can do about those harpies. Cormir needs those diggers if we're going to reclaim the first city. Okay. So, Don Coro is a pretty cool guy, we'll be getting to know him quite a lot, uh, and he's coming with us. Now, I can't remember, uh, we've only got three people in our party, well really at the moment, and I can't remember how dangerous everything is around here, so, where exactly are we going? Oh, we're going quite a way away, aren't we? Alright, let's get going. So this explorable area, this is kind of a very lush place, lots of wonderful plants and stuff, and as you might have guessed, because we got a bounty, lots of scale, there's a big scale infestation going on around here. Let's go this way. Oh, speaking of scale, here they are. Don't know how dangerous they are, I don't know what level they are or anything, so this could go really good or really bad. So as you can see here, my health's going down but it's coming back up. Dunkoro is a monk. Of course, in Guild Wars 1 there was a dedicated healer, that's something we won't be seeing in Guild Wars 2, which is a very good move. Uh, but yeah, Dunkoro is a monk, so he's going to be keeping us alive. Cos says here, oh, I can read that. Sorry, I was going to read out what Cost says, but I missed it. Never mind. Alright, anyway, moving on. So, Dunkor is pretty helpful, actually. We could have died quite quickly there, but he uh, he helped out quite a lot. Oh, there's lots of insects over there. Lots more ju juvenile termites. Does that mean they're not going to attack us? Oh! Alright, we're outnumbered this time. There's, what, five of them? three of us and this time they've got a grub lance you see and those guys are monks themselves so you want to watch out for them but at the end of the day they are just insects so we can kill them pretty quickly that was pretty easy pretty good Okay, so there's some signposts here. This one says that this, if we go that way, apparently we'll get to a place called Beckner Harbour. Now that's an area that we can't actually get to just yet. A lot of places are kind of sealed off to us. Beckner Harbour takes you down here to the south of uh, Istan this way. But yeah, we can't go there just, just yet. So bear that, but that in mind that there is a harbour over there. But for now we're going to uh, keep moving this way. Towards Zelon Reach. Well, no, not towards Zelon Reach actually. Just to this unmarked area. Okay, there's a resurrection shrine just up, up ahead, though. With a nice sun spear scout. 
and we'll probably be finding some harpies soon. He says, for a young sunspear, you've impressed me. Let's get right to work. Cormier's got me out here looking for the plant activity in the area. She's offering a bounty to anyone willing to help while I'm being attacked. Okay, I'll take the bounty. Oh, speaking of plants, here they are. Ah, oh, I died. Okay, well, then, <laughs> there's my, my uh, zero deaths gone. First time I died, but I came up nice and quickly because, of course, uh, Koss can resurrect people. So the plants are quite dangerous. They do quite a lot of damage. Got to watch out for them. It doesn't help that they blend in with these surroundings so well. So you can see that because I died, I've now got this thing here that says minus 11% here. That means I've got 11% less health and energy because I died. And that will slowly wear off as I kill more enemies. But that's called death penalty. And uh, I might start mentioning that later in the let's play. So uh, just so that we're all clear, that's what death penalty is. Really, you want to avoid dying because of death penalty. So there's some scree. You can see some scree fledglings and a scree hatchling there. Uh, I kind of don't want to fight them. There's another resurrection shrine up ahead. Alright, let's try and kill them. There's only three of them. It's 3v3, let's do it. Holy crap, see look, they hit me so hard. Nice, okay. Moving on. Moving on. We're definitely under leveled at the moment. Okay, so I can see some diggers. And uh, obviously that guy over there is the leader of the diggers, if you will, called Hamar. That was the person we were supposed to be speaking to. Just hopefully there's no enemies around here. And uh, you can see here on the left, this is the quarry. This is uh, presumably where they've been digging recently. Pretty big place, isn't it? Alright, hello Hamar. We need your help. We need these diggers. Finally, some help. But Hannah ordered work to stop as soon as we lost our first man. Because, of course, they've been struggling with the harpies and the scree. We've done our best to rid the quarry of these pests. But once a scree harpy queen lands and claims an area, it's near impossible to get her to leave. If you can help us get rid of that queen, we can free up some men for Cormir. Let me know when you're ready and we'll back you up. Okay, so for Dodjok and all these diggers come along and these guys help us fight. So let's try and take out this big group of insects over here. <laughs> okay, and you can see these guys absolutely kick ass. Too busy to talk, gotta dig. Alright, so these guys are, are, are awesome. Now I'm under the impression that this quest here is, we're, we're supposed to be going into the down into the quarry at the moment, but this quest is quite good for just gaining lots of experience because you get all of these allies. Uh, so I'm going to cut it for a second and just wander off and kill some guys. Uh, maybe level up, we're almost level 6. I'll just level up a couple of times so uh, it's a little bit easier when we get down there. So I'll keep, see you guys in like one second. Huh, I just come across a bit of a, a Sunspear settlement just out here, uh, where kind of near where we found the diggers. I have no idea what they're doing here. Maybe someday you'll be spot Spear Marshal. Cormier's got to grow old someday. I see you're advancing in your studies. Well done. I tried the dervish profession once, but it didn't suit me. You're far better at it than I. God, that was kind of hard to say. I remember when Cormier was but a young officer. You remind me much of her. So what are you guys doing? What? Just kind of sitting around... Having a knees up. Oh, there's another shrine. All right, we can get another bounty. Sorry, I'm a little bit distracted here. <laughs> I'll cut it till we're back at that place. Okay, and we're back. Uh, I didn't fight for that long, but me and Koss are now both level 6, and I'm kind of halfway uh, to level 7, which is pretty good. Uh, this quest actually gives us 2,000 experience, which is pretty great. So uh, I don't think leveling up should be too much of a problem. So yeah, we've got these diggers, who are really good fighters, actually, and uh, this guy, Hamar. He's a little bit slow, but oh well. Alright, so we're just coming into the quarry and trying to take out these scree that have moved in here and their queen. So let's do it. Don Coro says, Harpies are social creatures. If you attack one, the rest will rush into the fray. Thanks, Don Coro. I'll bear that in mind. So he's kind of the tactician. He'll tell us all the important things that we need to know. Look, are these dead trees? Why are there dead trees down here? Ah, oh, see, ah oh, yeah, so you, you attack one and then just loads appear out of nowhere. 
But to be honest, with these diggers on our side, we are just shredding through them. Okay, so I believe that's the first group out. Oh, okay, no, that's the first two groups out, so I guess this is another one here. Actually, you can see here uh, I've used my resurrection signet. That's because when I was out just killing things, I tried to take out a, uh, a monk boss, but his the, the boss had too much healing, uh, and his team ended up killing us all, so I had to resurrect Koss. Koss loves to go running in, even... even you know, when it's not a good idea, he'll just run in as quickly as possible. So you really got to keep an eye on him. Dunkori says harpies nest in cliffs, but scavenge for prey in wide, flat plains and tidal areas. Like this one. So what have we got? We've got some more here. So these hatchlings, you can see the hatchlings look quite different. These guys are actually the monks, so you want to hit these guys first. Alright, just one group left. And then what will happen after that? The queen will come out, maybe? Lots of shipwrecks out here, aren't there? And what is that over there? That looks quite cool. I guess this is the last group, this one right here. Okay, there we go. That's all of them out. Dancora says take out the Scree hatchlings first to prevent them from healing others of its kind, which I already did. So Hamar says, thank you Sunspears for saving my quarry. I'll make sure to send Cormir my best diggers. Wait, before you go, I should tell you that Digmaster Gatta was looking for you. You'd best see what he wants. Alright, okay. I believe there's this, this is actually a Corsair ship, I think. And there's lots of Corsairs down there on that beach. Alright, so another Digmaster wants to see us. Will these diggers stay with us or are they going to wait there now? Ah, they're going to wait there. Shame. Alright, okay, so let's go find this guy, Digmaster Gatar. You can see it's up here at the Jonica Diggins, which I've kind of already been to. Let's get out of the quarry this side. So there's a statue to Lissa here at this resurrection shrine, and you can see Lissa looks very different again. In every region in Guild Wars, uh, the people have their own way of uh, depicting the gods. Uh, so this is Lissa here in Elona, and they actually call her Lys here in, in Elonia. Uh, there's actually three different provinces. You've got Istan. And then you've got Corner, which is this place up here. And even further away from Corner, there is a place called um, Vabi. And in Vabi, the people there, basically, they all love Lissa. That is their favourite god. They're just absolutely nuts over her. And we'll see more of that um, quite a bit down the line. Oh, wow. And this is a pretty cool waterfall here. You'll see when we get to either north, the water looks really, really cool. But this is pretty good as well, actually. Pretty, pretty fast flowing current there. So you'll see here I find some insects in my path here. I thought I'd killed everything around here when I ran off with the miners, but clearly I missed them. So I'm trying to avoid them here. Just trying, trying, trying to avoid them. But then Dunkoro is a moron and gets caught. Shit, no Dunkoro, come back. Fuck, I hope he comes. I'm just going to keep running. I'm going to keep running. Dunkoro, just... Yes, he's coming with us. Good. Whew, I don't want to fight the insects. They should give up and run away soon enough. Come on, Dunkoro, you can make it, buddy. <laughs> there we go, okay, everybody's safe. Yeah, uh, I was kind of hoping that I'd cleared all those guys out, but clearly I hadn't. Alright, so here's the Jonica diggings. Another statue, this time to Grenth. Depicting the corpses, the dead people, clawing at his feet. Lovely. Alright, so here we go, Jonica diggings. And as far as I can see, Dunkoro came with us. Hello, who are you? Have you ever visited the Great Library in Vabi? Zerai the Learner trade in their halls. He's amazing. Okay, I believe there's a quest to do with her and sort of uh, this guy Zerai the Learner that she's talking about. He like he loves her, and there's a quest here where you uh, you get her some flowers or something. Uh, we'll be meeting Zerai eventually when we get to Vabi. All right, so here's Gata. Excellent work! I've received word from Bohanna that he'll be sending some of his best diggers over to help. With their aid, we'll make quick work of this old temple. Cormir mentioned that several Cornan and Vabian dignitaries have arrived. She needs you and Dunkoro to keep them happy while they're here. I have the orders here somewhere. Here, take this for a job well done. Oh, and before I forget, Cormir asked me to tell Dunkoro that he's to work with you from now on. She says you'll work well together. 
Okay, well, thanks, Cormier, I guess. So, Dunkoro joins our party, our next friend, our next ally. Dunkoro is an experienced Istani Sunspear, the veteran of campaigns against Corsairs, Centaurs, Desert Raiders, and Inhuman Tribes. His experience has not dimmed his dedication. It has simply made him aware of the importance of planning. So, welcome to the fold, Dunkoro. Our second ally, we can add him, he's level 6 as well. And he's a monk, so we can give him whatever monk skills we want. Uh, which I will be changing soon enough. So yeah, what else have we got to do? Here are the orders from Conmir. General Morgan of Corner has arranged some kind of war game and Elder Sol wants to show off the prowess of the Sunspears. You've been chosen to represent the Sunspears and Istan. Once you reach the rank of First Spear or level 12, find General Morgan who will be waiting in the Zelon Reach with soldiers for you to fight against. Conmir asks you to take it easy on them. It's only a demonstration after all. <laughs> I don't want to embarrass myself. Alright, sounds like fun. Okay. So, this is going to be pretty good, I think. So, let's see how close we are to first spear, shall we? Uh, our current rank is... Oh, we're, we're a Sunspear Master Sergeant right now. Um, and we'll be second spear in a long time. And then we'll be first spear after that. So, that that's quite a way away, actually. Maybe it would be better to get to level 12. Hmm, choices, choices, choices. What should we do, guys? Some quests, maybe? In fact, do you know what we should probably do? Uh, let's read the description for, for Jonica Diggins first. This camp, just outside the ruins of the fabled first city of Farina, the ruins of which are here, by the way, is headquarters to the Astani Provincial Excavation Corps. Farina, decimated and abandoned during the Scarab Plague, was the ancient home of the primeval kings who once ruled all of Elona. Some believe it also holds the key to the mystery of the Scarab Plague's origin. Superstitious fears and a bitter rivalry between the excavation Corps and the Society of Engineers have kept work on this important archaeological site stagnant until recently. Okay, so, uh, and they're talking about the Scarab Plague here, which was, nobody knows why it came about, but there was this devastating Scarab Plague, it was like 600 years before the events of this game, and it came along and it wiped out all, nearly all civilization that was here on Istan, uh, and the first city was like this really grand city that people lived in, and the Scarab Plague came along and wiped it out and just destroyed everyone basically. Uh, quite a sad story, we'll learn more about the Scarab Plague sooner or later. Uh, but yeah, uh, so we've got numerous things we can do, but at the end of the last episode, I said I wanted to get a pet. Was that last episode or was that this one? I can't remember. So let's go do that. Uh, let's go back to Kamadan Jewel of Istan. And let's go back out into this training area. And here they are. Uh, if you guys saw Factions, uh, you'll remember that I got a crane as my pet in Factions. Um, and I don't know why, but since I got that crane, I've just kind of had a thing for bird pets. And I figured, you know what? What better than a flamingo? If the day ever comes that my character from Factions meets uh, this character, Matt, then it would be pretty cool to have a flamingo and a crane around, don't you think? So yeah, we're going to get a, uh, a flamingo. What I want to do is tell Dunkoro and Kost just to go over there for a minute, because I don't want them to fight. The second we try and charm this thing, it's going to go crazy and try and kill us. Which one should we get? Which one? They're all the same, really, I guess. I'll pick you, because you're the furthest away. So uh, when we try and charm it, it's going to go mad and try and kill us. But if we can survive for long enough, which really isn't that hard, um, we'll charm it. So here we go, charming animal. It's alright, don't worry Flamingo, you can be our new friend. And once again guys, uh, I might as well do it. Last series uh, I asked you guys if you wanted to name it, um, the pet, so we'll do that again. So we've got a Flamingo, you guys can name it, you can tell me what sex it is, anything you like. So, well, you know, within reason. So there we go, uh, whatever name I prefer the most, I'll name it. So get those ideas in and hopefully we'll see the name in the next couple of episodes. So uh, we've got this Flamingo and I kind of want to get pets for Koss and maybe even Dunkora as well. Where are they? I sent them a long way away, didn't I? Hello? Have they just ran off? Oh my god, they've ran off. Where are they? I'm scared. Oh, there you go. There we go. Okay, so yeah, I'm kind of kind of, I'm thinking of getting a pet for Koss as well, at the very least. So, um, whatever name I like, the second least that you guys suggest, uh, that will be Koss's pet's name. Uh, but I'm not sure what pet I'm going to get for Koss yet, so... Uh, we'll see as time goes by. But, uh, yeah, so we need to get to a higher level or to a higher rank. Let's see what we can do.
Okay, so I think that's probably a good place to end the episode. Next time, guys, we'll get to level 12 or first spear, I'm not sure which. And I'll probably show you some of the more interesting quests that maybe you haven't seen before, uh, that maybe have some interesting tidbits of information. Uh, and yeah, and then hopefully we can get onto the second mission, uh, which isn't too far away. So yeah, see you next time, everyone.